Right off the bat, I wanted to say a big thank you to all of you who subscribe to the channel and want to come with me along this journey talking about fish and shrimp culture. So next up, I had to choose a playlist to go with and the playlist I chose was shrimp culture. I hope you enjoy. I uh, work in so many different universities and labs in hatcheries and in different farms, going from fresh water to brackish water to hypersaline water, that uh, there's so, so much that we can uh, talk about. So we're going to start by the beginning. And the beginning will be shrimp biology. Then we're going to talk about hatcheries and larval quality. Then we're gonna move into intensive shrimp farming, where I'm gonna take you from uh, what's the flow of water from the sea or from the mangrove, from whatever the water is going to be captured through the farm and out. So let's have a complete flow of water. And uh, then we're going to talk about biological production parameters uh, of economic importance. We'll talk about trim feeds and feeding, water quality. We're going to talk about the role of the farm manager and what farm manager needs to have in mind and, and overlook. And we'll also talk about biosecurity and shrimp diseases. In the end, we have to integrate it all together. Water quality, shrimp health, shrimp production data, and also how do we put it all together to give the best possible condition for the shrimp, avoid diseases and avoid production losses. Okay, shrimp culture. So what are we gonna talk about? We're going to talk uh, over through several short videos. I mean, I don't want to make the videos more than 10 minutes long. I hope to have someone very special to talk about uh, shrimp diseases and biosecurity because I have someone in the house very knowledge about that, but is a bit shy. So perhaps with a bit of convincing, you will uh, have the opportunity to learn from someone who is really passionate about that other side of things and when things go wrong that's someone who I call to to help on that front and this person will always say the problem is with the manager it's just fire the manager it's not the pathogen and in one sense uh, someone once told me that uh, when the animals are sick or the animals you know die I said oh the animal just die my shrimp die my fish die no, the animals don't die. It's you and me, whoever is looking after, that kill the animal. Because any animal wants to stay alive. So it doesn't just die. It's because we kill them. And many times it's not, uh, oh, you know, let's just blame a pathogen. That's what we really, you know, uh, is more tempted to do. Oh, no, this pathogen came and killed it. No, we let it come. We didn't give the right conditions. So particularly with shrimp farming, which is a totally different world than fish farming, who, whoever understands about fish farming has no clue what happens uh, in a shrimp farm. And the other way around is true also. It's a total, total new, new world. I mean, one is a vertebrate, the other is, is, is not. One uh, grows continuously, the shrimp grows in, in, in spurs, it molds, it's, it's shed, it's carapace, becomes totally soft for some, some time, it's totally vulnerable and doesn't have the same uh, immunological defenses and preparedness than uh, a vertebrate do. So there's a lot of complexities, but with a good environment, the animals should strive. So with no further ado, let's move into the first topic, which will be uh, shrimp biology. 